COVID vaccines booster dose campaign starts in country. Frontline workers, people over 60 and expatriates to get booster doses. Strict restriction imposed in countries as Corona's new variant Omicron surges. India approves two new vaccines and one antiviral drug. Bangladesh Sri Lanka Under 19 Asia Cup match called off as one umpire tested positive for COVID 19. Bangladesh to play in semi finals as group champion. Assalamu alaikum. This is Shanin Ziaudin welcoming you to News at 10 on BTV, BTV World, and BTV Chautogram Center. You have just heard the highlights and now on to the details. <laughs> তোমাকে শৃঙ্খলা শিখতে হবে নিজকে সৎ হতে হবে নিজকে দেশকে ভালোবাসতে হবে মানুষকে ভালোবাসতে হবে এবং চরিত্র ঠিক রাখতে হবে তা না হলে কোনো ভালো কাজ করা যায় না প্রাইম মিনিস্টার শেখ হাসিনা কলড আপন দ্য জাজেস অফ দ্য কান্ট্রি টু এনশিওর জাস্টিস ফর অল রিঅশিওরিং देम অফ আওয়ার गवर्नमेंट এভরি रिक्वायर्ड सपोर्ट টু দিস এন্ড she made the call while unveiling the covers of a research based mujib memorial book titled bongobondo and the judiciary and the mujib borsho souvenir nayakonto voice of justice published by the bangladesh supreme court <clears throat> joining virtually the program held on the bangladesh supreme court premises from gonobhavan the prime minister said that getting justice is the rights of the people the prime minister said her government did not interfere in any activities of the judiciary likewise other government amra kokhono mane bichar karje hastokhep korini karon er age onek ghotona ache apnara janen dekha gache false certificate er byabohar ba chhatro doler tader hat rekhe taki ki rai deya hobe seta ni alochona erokom bohu nekar jonno ghotona o bangladeshe ghoteche jeta ontoto ami ontoto etuku bolte pari je amra sarkar ashar por অন্তত এই পরপর তিনবার এখন আমরা ক্ষমতায় বা এর আগে একবার ছিলাম আমরা কিন্তু সেই সেটা করার সুযোগ দেইনি সব সময় একটা ন্যায়ের পথে যেন সবাই চলতে পারে আমরা সেই ব্যবস্থা করেছি ন্যায় বিচার মানুষের প্রাপ্তি সেটা যেন সব সময় পায় সেটা আমরা চাই কিন্তু আমার জন্য যে আমরা যারা পূর্ণ হারিয়েছিলাম আমার মতো বাবা মা হারিয়ে যেন কাউকে বিচারের জন্য মানে চোখের পানি ফেলতে না হয় ন্যায় বিচারটা মানুষ পাবে এটাই আমরা সবসময় চাই কারণ আমরা ভুক্তভোগী আমরা জানি বিচার না পাওয়ার কষ্টটা কি তো সেটা আপনারা নিশ্চিত করে দেবেন সেটাই আমরা চাই আর আমি যতক্ষণ সরকার আছে এর জন্য যা যা দরকার আমরা করব চিফ জাস্টিস সাইদ মাহমুদ হুসেন ল জাস্টিস এন্ড পার্লামেন্টারি অ্যাফেয়ার্স মিনিস্টার আনসুল হক স্পোক অন দ্য অকেশন ওয়াল দ্য অ্যাপেলেট ডিভিশন জাস্টিস এন্ড এডিটর অফ দ্য বুক এন্ড দ্য সোভেনিয়ার মোহাম্মদ নুরুল জামান গেভ দ্য ওয়েলকাম অ্যাড্রেস President Mohammad Abdul Hamid today held talks with the Workers Party of Bangladesh as part of the ongoing dialogue with political parties to form a neutral and acceptable election commission a seven member delegation of the Workers Party led by its president Rashid Khan Menon attended the dialogue at Bangabhavan this afternoon welcoming the delegation president Abdul Hamid said the main aim of the dialogue is to form an acceptable election commission on the basis of discussions with political parties noting that pol- politics is for the welfare of the people the president said if quality is not ensured in politics it would be difficult for politicians to do politics in future in this regard president abdul hamid urged the political parties to build public opinion at the grassroots level president's press secretary m joinal abidin briefed that during the discussion the delegation of the workers party proposed to formulate a law for formation of an independent and impartial election commission they also placed some proposal to the president including proper application of electoral laws and ensuring that the election commission could work independently secretary to the president were present Government will purchase another 1000 broad gauge and meter gauge wagons to increase capacity of goods transportation out of the total 580 wagons will be purchased from China at a cost of 37 million US dollars Bangladesh and China have signed an agreement to this effect 
at Rail Bhavan in Dhaka today. Project Director Mohammad Mizanur Rahman and Chinese Sangdong Company Limited's Deputy General Manager Dan Zeng signed the agreement on behalf of the respective sides. Railways Minister Nurul Islam Shujon and Secretary of the Ministry Mohammad Salim Reza were present on the occasion. <laughs> আশিটি যে আমাদের ওয়াগন এগুলি তারা কমপ্লিট আমাদের কাছে দেবে যে একটা দেশকে যদি উন্নত সমৃদ্ধ দেশ গড়ে তুলতে হয় তাহলে একটি ভারসাম্যপূর্ণ যোগাযোগ ব্যবস্থা ছাড়া টেকসই উন্নয়ন সম্ভব নয় কাজে সরকার যে সিদ্ধান্ত গ্রহণ করেছে প্রত্যেকটি আপনার সমুদ্র বন্দরের সঙ্গে রেল সম্প্রসারিত করবে নদী বন্দরগুলোর সঙ্গে সম্প্রসারিত করবে প্রত্যেকটি জেলার সঙ্গে আপনার রেল সম্প্রসারিত হবে Information and Broadcasting Minister and Awami League Joint General Secretary Dr. Hassan Mahmood has said the BNP is looking for backdoors to go to state power. He said this while exchanging views with journalists on contemporary issues at his official residence on Minto Road in the capital today. Responding to an allegation that there are conspiracies to destroy the BNP, Dr. Hassan Mahmood says the BNP itself is enough to do this. क्षमत जनगण दूरे सर गोल खुजे Replying to a query from journalists that some political parties have suggested formation of a national government while discussing the upcoming election commission, the Information and Broadcasting Minister says there is no scope to constitute a national government to rehabilitate the rejected politicians. <laughs> তারা আসলে সবাই রাজনীতিতে পরিত্যক্ত রাজনীতিবিদ রাজনীতিতে পরিত্যক্তরা তাদের পুনর্বাসনের লক্ষ্যে তারা এই ধরনের প্রস্তাব দিচ্ছেন সংবিধান অনুযায়ী সেই ধরনের সরকার গঠন করার কোনো সুযোগ নাই সংবিধান অনুযায়ী নির্বাচন অনুষ্ঠিত হবে এবং সংবিধান অনুযায়ী বর্তমান সরকারে মাননীয় প্রধানমন্ত্রীর নেতৃত্বে নির্বাচনকালীন সময়ে দায়িত্ব পালন করবে এর অন্য কিছু করার কোনো সুযোগ নাই Earlier, Information and Broadcasting Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmood virtually addressed a program at his constituency in Rangunyar organized by the NNK Foundation to distribute winter clothes. Meanwhile, the 21st meeting of Bangladesh Journalist Welfare Trustee Board was held in the afternoon at the conference room of the Information and Broadcasting Ministry. Trustee Board Chairman and Information and Broadcasting Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmood presided over the meeting while vice chairman of the board and secretary of the ministry mohammad mogbul hussein conducted it at the meeting members of the trustee board discussed the next activities of the trust marking mujib year and golden jubilee of the country's independence four day long bongobondhu and shadhinata book fair will start from December 30 in 64 districts at a time. State Minister for Cultural Affairs Game Khalid revealed the information at a press conference today at the Department of Public Libraries. Game Khalid said this book fair will keep contribution to create social values among the countrymen by forming the habit of reading books. Dr. Kamal Abdul Nasser Chaudhry, chief coordinator of the Father of the Nation Bongobundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman birth centenary celebration 
National Implementation Committee, Cultural Affairs Secretary Abul Mansoor and Director General of Department of Public Libraries Abu Bakr Siddiq were present. The book fair will be held from December 30th to January 2nd. Booster dose vaccinations have got underway from today in regular centers in Dhaka to save the people from the coronavirus. The people who have already completed two doses will be allowed to take booster dose as a third dose vaccine. No new registrations will be needed for the booster dose. Above 60 years old citizens, health workers, immigrants and frontliners will be given priority for the booster dose. They will be informed by the previous centers through the SMS. Earlier, the booster dose vaccination program was launched with the senior nurse of Formitola General Hospital, Runo Veronica Costa, on 19th of December. Bangladesh reported one COVID-19 death and 397 new infections today. Director General of Health Services, DGHS, in its routine daily statement today said, the death toll has risen to 28,062 from coronavirus and the tally of infections has risen to 15,84,023. The recovery count rose to 15,48,044 after another 294 patients recovered. The statement said 2.10% of 18,938 samples tested positive. DGHS statistics showed of the people infected from the beginning, 97.73% recovered and 1.77% died. Now international news. Due to the rapid growth of Omicron infection, different countries of the world are imposing new restrictions. France has announced tighter COVID restrictions and concerns over the Omicron variant. From 3rd January, remote working will become compulsory for those who can and public gatherings will be limited to 2,000 people for indoor events elsewhere in Europe. Additional restrictions were announced in Germany and Greece as governments seek to stem the tide of positive cases. Other European countries are also reinstating coronavirus restrictions as the Omicron variant continues to spread across the continent. And Israel has recommended a fourth dose of a COVID-19 vaccine for all people aged over 60 and healthcare workers. The central government of India cleared two more vaccines today and one antiviral drug to boost the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. The two latest vaccines are cleared by India are Corbevax and Covovax. The antiviral drug Molnupiravir can be used during emergency. Oman makes vaccination mandatory in workplace. Action will be taken against employers, employees who fail to show COVID-19 vaccination certificate or medical justification. Meanwhile, COVID-19 global death toll surpasses 54,26,000 and over 28 crore 20 lakh 65,000 people have been infected globally. Besides, more than 25 crore 14 lakh 92,000 people have recovered from the virus so far. Heavy storms have battered western regions of the United States, leaving thousands without power. Almost 76 centimeters of snow fell in California over a 24-hour period ending Sunday morning, causing road closures, avalanche warnings are in effect across six states. Besides, snow has pummeled the north and west of Japan, causing travel chaos and warnings to stay indoors. The snowfall, which started on Christmas Day, is forecast to continue. Now news and sports. Bangladesh's group deciding fixture against Sri Lanka in the ACC Under-19 Asia Cup was abandoned today at Sharjah Cricket Stadium after field umpires tested corona positive. Despite being abandoned as per the net run rate, Bangladesh moved up to the semi-final as Group B champions. 
Bangladesh youngsters will take on Group A runners-up India in the semi-final on Thursday. To end the bulletin headlines once again. Government ensured independent judiciary in country, says Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, in the unveiling ceremony of Mujib Memorial Book, Bongobondo and the Judiciary, and the Mujib Borshu Souvenir Noyak, Nayakonto. President Mohammed Abdul Hamid holds dialogue with Workers' Party of Bangladesh on formation of election commission. Workers' Party places six-point proposal including enactment of law. BNP searching for a clandestine alley to go to power, says Information and Broadcasting Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud. A four-day Bongobondu and Shadinata book fair starts in 64 districts of country from Thursday on occasion of Muji BR and Golden Jubilee of Independence. COVID vaccines booster dose campaign starts in country, frontline workers, people over 60 and expatriates to get booster doses. Strict restriction imposed in countries as, as Corona's new variant Omicron surges. India approves two new vaccines and one antiviral drug. Bangladesh-Sri Lanka Under-19 Asia Cup match called off as one umpire tested positive for COVID-19, Bangladesh to play in semi-finals as group champions. And that's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for staying with us.